All right, I think we're back. Okay, I'm gonna wait a moment or two as we get folks online here. So hopefully we'll get you guys back on here in just a second. I apologize for the technical issues. All right, so Cindy's on, Samson's on. What's up guys? Brandon, all right, great. I don't know why I'm looking at it sideways. Am I sideways or am I vertical for you guys? Am I right or wrong? Someone help me out here. Sideways. So I'm good now? Okay, I'm just gonna leave myself like this. All right. Guys, first, I'm excited to open on May 18th, but before I even get into all the details, which might not be all that elaborate, um, I just wanted to thank all of our members for sticking with, with, with us the last two months. We appreciate your loyalty, all the comments, the text messages, the phone calls, the help around the gym, which uh, a lot of you guys will see uh, next week, right? You'll see it live. Uh, so let's get right to it, right? So we, we've been closed the last two months, which has been kind of a kick in the nuts. Uh, excuse me, a, a kick in the butt, but we're getting back back to business. So starting on Monday, we're going to have classes. So I want to go through a little bit of a schedule uh, outline and then get into some more details and then hopefully try and answer some of your questions. Um, you'll have to forgive me when I start asking, thank you, whoever said I am beautiful. That's great. Um, if I react to a comment or a question, there might be some dumb ones and I'm sorry, I won't be able to hold myself back, but I won't say who, who asked it, okay? So I'll be fair there. Uh, all right, so our timeline. So I'm gonna go a little off the top of my head. So 518, so that's next Monday, we're gonna start classes. We're gonna be open, I'll talk about that more. 525, the following Monday, we have Murph. We're gonna have to talk about that a little bit. On June 6, which is that following Saturday, we, I'm sorry, uh, June 1, which is that following Monday, we're going to start a three-week program that's going to get everybody geared back into, you know, sort of normal programming. And then June 6, that following Saturday, we're going to have June jorts. So we have a lot of stuff on our calendar that we're going to try and get to here shortly. Um, so hopefully we'll be prepared for that and be able to navigate that along the way over the next several weeks. So let's get into what happens next week. So let's just dive right in. 518, we're going to have classes. We're going to have our classes outside at both gyms. There will not be a cap beyond 20. So we're going to have a cap of or a below 20. So we'll have a cap of 20 people. You'll have to register in Zen Planner as you guys have in the past. You'll be able to register within 24 hours of your class. Once you guys get there, there'll be a little bit of a protocol and then we'll move from there. Now, if there's inclement weather, weather We'll go inside, which is not a big deal. That'll just get us gearing into the, what's going to happen the following week. So the following week, starting on the 25th, really the 26th, on Tuesday after Murph, we're going to have classes inside. After we have classes inside, we're going to start to allow ourselves to loosen up a little bit. So we'll start opening up the programming. We'll introduce more and more modalities, which will give us a little more freedom to move around the gym and not feel so boxed in. When we get into the classes outside, we're going to be using our Go program, which is what we've been doing at home. The reason we want to do that is because we want to make sure that two things happen. One, those of us that are going to be at the gyms, we can control the flow a little bit better because there's less in and out grabbing equipment than there is in, during a normal CrossFit class, which eats up a lot of time. We're going to try and keep these Go classes initially to 45 minutes. So that way there's a transition from class leaving after they clean and then a new class coming in. With the Go classes, it's also going to be uh, nice to have that because if we have people at home still, they're going to be able to zoom into the classes and they'll be doing that same programming. And that's what we've been doing the last eight weeks. If you haven't tried it, you're missing out. It's Those are fun workouts. Those dumbbells get pretty tough. Um, once we get into the second week, we're going to take the Go workouts into the gym. So we'll have taped off boxes, which is a little overkill, but that's okay. It keeps things organized and helps us transition into a new flow of things inside the gym. For a long time, we've wanted to organize the, the classes a little bit differently and have it be a little more streamlined. So coach for the 5 a.m. class has a similar setup to coach at 5 p.m. A 5 a.m. coach has the same setup as a 5 a.m. class. You guys get what I'm saying. The 5 a.m. class and the 5 p.m. class have the same setup and the same flow regardless of the size of the class. So we'll be able to work on that a little bit. 
Anyhow, so once we get done with the Go program for two weeks, one week is in, outside, one week is inside, we'll transition to regular old CrossFit, but it'll be a little bit different because we're going to start with a nice slow progression. So some of you guys might be unfamiliar with some of the terminology I'm going to use, but we're going to start with some tempo work, right? So more eccentric loading. We're going to go slow tempo. So let's say, you know, we're doing a front squat from the floor in my little box. I'm going to do a five second negative for my repetitions. The next week we might do a little bit heavier from the floor, slower or uh, not as slow. So maybe three second negative. Then the next week it might be two or th uh, one or two second negative for that same movement. And then we start moving our way back into normal CrossFit. For most of us, we haven't been doing normal CrossFit. Some of us have pull up bars at home. We're training very similar to what we were in the past, but a lot of us are not. I haven't lifted, I mean, probably not more than 95 pounds on, on a barbell in the last two months. So that's going to make a huge impact on how I'm going to be able to work out. So we're going to ease everybody back into this. And I think it's a great way for us to set the tone for the next several weeks and to really get everybody on the same page. All right. Uh, let's see. I don't see any questions. Let's see. Except I'm sideways. I'm good looking. I see. I see a wrong. I'm not sure what that means. Um, I'm sideways, sideways. Thanks, everybody, for all the sideways. Good, better, good. You are beautiful either way. I knew that was Corey. Okay. Let's get down to some questions. Good. The Go Zoom classes are awesome. They're pretty cool. I'd much rather be in person, but yeah, we'll keep them going for the interim. I would like to see them maybe fade out over the next, you know, month, two months. We'll see how, you know, everything goes with people being more comfortable and able to get back into the gym. So hopefully they're not an indefinite thing, but as long as we're running the go workouts, why not? Right. Worst case, we can always record the go workout. So even if we just narrow it down to one class a day, we can always uh, program those. How will we do Murph? Yeah. Thanks for throwing that in there. I started to lose, lose where I was going. So when we're going to do Murph, we're going to have a cap, First of all, we're not going to let everybody work, anyone work out, you know, for two hours, right, to accomplish that workout. So they're so gung-ho on trying to make this work. We are going to program a couple of different scaling options to make sure that we keep the cap at 45 minutes. We're going to do the workout outside. For anyone that's going to be doing the workout, we're going to try, let's say, the RX repetitions. It's one mile followed by 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 squats, and another mile. So we're going to replace the pull-ups by an up with an upper body pull. So let's say you have a bar, bent over rows, a dumb, pair of dumbbells, bent over row. So we're gonna do some kind of upper body pull that will not be on the bar. So what we're gonna have is a couple of different options. So we'll have the standard repetitions and volume, but a, a less intense of that upper body pulling. I don't think we have very many people, now we probably have some, but not very many people that can handle 100 pull-ups in a session without having any problems later on. So we wanna ease everybody in. And so that's gonna be part of that process. So we still have, plan on having a great time. Hopefully have a, a large turnout. We'll work on some spacing. You know, I don't think we're going to have 75 people at the gym, but we'll have everything outside, spread out. We'll probably stagger starts and maybe even run in different directions if we need to to make everybody feel a little more comfortable. Uh, next question. So clarifying, 20 people max to a class, same class times as before. Yes, yeah, so 20 people max, um, Class same class times. We are going to change what the classes consist of a little bit, but the class times will be the same. So right now, all the classes are going to be programmed for Go. Then it's going to be all CrossFit, and then we'll start making some changes along the lines there. For right now, it's just Go CrossFit. Um, for those, so this is a question. I'm just going to answer this. But for those of us who haven't done a Go workout at home, what is an, is an example of one? I would just refer you to go to the Sugar Watt and look at the workouts. Basically, they're just all dumbbell workouts. Okay. Thank you for everything you are doing. You're welcome. Um, do we have to wear gloves? No. Will there be mask police? No mask. No, no gloves will be required. Uh, my favorite joke about gloves is as long as they match your purse, right? Wear your gloves all you want, but no, we don't have to have gloves on. I will talk about the sanitary process here in just a moment. Um, or I should say disinfecting process. Um, will you allow pregnant ladies to bring a roadblock or short blocks for up downs? No. So the easy answer to that is there's parallettes that we could use, which are actually way better to use in that scenario and easier to move around. So we'll have parallettes as the option. So that's going to be hopefully a better scenario for you. So my answer is no, but I have a better option for you. All right. Well, I'm screwed. I don't know what that means. Uh, can you please talk about Ollie? No. 
Um, okay. Ollie class will begin on June 1. So I'm glad that that actually did come up, but I did have a great answer. So on June 1, my hope is that we will have our CrossFit programming ramping back up. So a three-week program that starts on, on June 1. We'll also start kicking off our Olympic lifting classes or our barbell classes. We'll most likely start with a Saturday class. We'll likely move the time so that way we don't have two classes side by side. So let's say CrossFit's at 9, Olympic lifting is at 10 to 11.30, something along those lines. And then as the week goes on or the week or two goes on after that, we'll start being able to have classes at the same time. So we're trying to limit the, a number of people in the gym at the same time. Uh, what that will also mean is for our open gym folks, we will have open gym as well. There'll be a 10-person cap for open gym. There will be no open gym at the same time as class. So at 5 a.m. right now, or prior to this, you could have as many people in class, uh, up to 20-ish, and then we had a couple people doing open gym. That won't be allowed in the short term. Again, hopefully a lot of these things will start to go by the wayside over time. So most of what I'm saying now won't be relevant in two or three weeks. We're going to change it, right? Okay, so hopefully I answered that question about the Olympic lifting um, in a sat satisfactory manner. So yes, there will be a 6 a.m. class. It'll also be the go. So go for all the class times. So if we had moved before, it's go. If we had sweat before, it's go. It's go, go, go. All right, for the 24-hour access, can we do our strength prior to, let's say, 5 a.m.? Yes. Um, so here's a, here's a weird scenario. So this is not going to be too lengthy, I hope. But if someone's at the gym during open gym or during their 24-hour 24, 24 access... They're going to still follow the same protocols as everyone else for class. So once there's a, a time leading up to that class, you're going to have to get into the same line, essentially, and come in with the members. Um, in regards to, I'm going to talk about that in a second. In regards to returning equipment, what hours is the gym operating at this week so I can return my equipment? The, the equipment can be returned from the hours of t the hour of 10 a.m., to 11 a.m. this Saturday. Now, if you want to reach out to your coach directly and arrange a specific time to meet with them, that's great, but we're going to have an open slot from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. on Saturday at both gyms. Is the new building uh, for Redland still happening? Yes. I should say, heck yes. Okay. Um, is it safe to say those of us who bring our kids should not expect them to be welcome for some time? No, your kids can come. So let's say, for example, we're outside and we're having class. Uh, they can be outside, right? There's fresh air, right? Great. If we're having a 20 person uh, class, we do want to make sure we keep them at a certain distance, right? To kind of follow the same li uh, lines of the social distancing. However, the current setup right now says that we could be at 25% of our occupancy, which both gyms have a pretty high occupancy, thank thankfully. So if we're having a 20-person class at Selma or, let's say, a 14-person class on the inside of Redland, which is about what we're going to be able to have at Redland, we can still, we'll still be well under that cap. So all the parents out there, that's okay. We just got to make sure that they're in a position where they're not in the way for classes, right? And they're not too close to, for us, uh, close to folks. Um... For those of us expecting to go back into the office in the next few weeks and come straight in from work, what is the expectation of being able to change at the gym? I would change before you come to the gym. What do I do if I get to the gym early? I'm, I'm going to talk about the flow in a second. So I'm, I'm lumping up some of these answers. So I'm going to pass by some of these. Sorry about that, Jen. Will the NC Fit CrossFit WOD still be posted during the transition period? Oh, absolutely. So just like we have been, we haven't dropped off dropping any of our CrossFit, um, the workouts, none of the workouts are going to be um, removed from there in terms of the availability. We are going to change what classes are going to be programmed, um, but all of the classes will be programmed. So if we're doing go for the next two weeks, there'll still be CrossFit workouts up there. We are allowed to bring our own yoga mats, correct. And you want us to bring a tell. Yes, thank you for bringing that up. So mats are allowed for sure, but you take them with you. So unlike a lot of the gloves, workout towels, um, water bottles, lifting belts, they're going to get tossed fast if they're not picked up. So if you guys leave stuff, you got you to make sure that you're, you're not leaving the things behind. Okay, so let's talk about the class flow. So this is where it gets a little more specific, finally, and hopefully I cover some of the questions that I may have just skimmed over before. So if we start on Monday morning, 5 a.m., what we're going to do is we're going to ask the folks whether you're they're early for open gym. You're going to have to exit the, exit the building and you're going to get in line with everybody else. And what I mean by line is we're going to ask everybody to stay in their car or near their car. 
please get outside, walk around, hang out, talk to people. But we're going to say, hey, all right, come on over to the door. In single file fashion, we're going to say, all right, you're going to go to your area here. You're going to go grab a workout towel, unless you brought one. You're going to grab a spray bottle with disinfectant. You're going to grab one implement. So you're going to get one dumbbell or one kettlebell. Okay. Then you're going to go to your workout station. So if it's outside, you're going to go to a yellow dot that we use for POC. You're going to go there and you're going to go to that station, set your stuff down. You're going to spray your piece of equipment and you're going to hang out. Everybody else is going to follow, follow online. We did a practice with the coaches and it took about two minutes to make that happen. So we'll start that at five minutes to when the class starts. When the class starts, if we're out back at, at Selma, the door's closed. So you, you're, you're not coming back. So class starts at, si at 5 a.m. That's when it starts. <clears throat> Once everybody's there, we'll wipe our equipment down. We'll go over the warm up. The Zoom will be uh, jumping in to some of the classes. So they'll commun the coach will communicate to that laptop where those folks are. And then that class will get started. We'll get right, rocking. At the 45 minute mark, hopefully we'll be wrapping up. We're gonna clean our equipment again, wipe it down. In reverse order, person's gonna go back in. They're gonna drop off their dumbbell or their kettlebell. They're gonna drop off their spray bottle. They're gonna to walk to a designated direction, depends on which gym you're at. You're gonna drop off your towel if you borrowed one from us, and then you're gonna bounce. So you guys can go in the parking lot, hang out, do whatever you want, but class is over. Hopefully that will take less than five to 10 minutes. At that time, if we have another class coming in, we'll just start that same process over. When we move into the gym, the following week when we're inside, the protocol will be a little similar, but we'll be a little more relaxed but we'll still try and stick to our designated areas that will be taped off in, the, in boxes. So hopefully I summarize that pretty well. When you guys show up that first day, just be ready to listen, be flexible, but kind of move quick, especially you 5 a.m.ers. You guys should be ready to rock. Okay. No bags. Yep, no bags. No bags. When you guys come in, you guys can drop off your keys and phone if you really need them, but I'm not sure why, right? Unless you have to run out for an emergency, but you need to, I, I take that back. You're going to take them to your station. So you're going to keep that stuff with you. There's not going to be an area for dropping things off. All right. So glo no gloves. So that was a question or answer. Uh, if you just came in, Andrew, so no gloves are required. No masks are required. We will have gloves. Um, mask for the staff if they choose to wear one but at this point i'm not really sure any of them want to but we have masks for them no gloves okay so you, get, you guys can answer for me that's awesome all right nc fit i think i've answered every question unless somebody i wish i could see you guys it would be way better if this was zoom although i don't i don't know about that we'll see um we covered ollie Katie, hopefully that was satisfactory. I don't know when we're gonna start all of it, but we're gonna start it soon. Um, okay. You guys are awesome for setting all this up. Seems safer than my doctor's office. It's safer than most places. Um, one comment was that I'm talking too fast. Sorry, that's just me. Let me slow down. Um, is there a wait list for class? Great question. There will be a wait list for class. And so um, this person who will remain anonymous didn't read the, the information before jumping onto this. So if we have a wait list for a 20 person class, if there's a wait list, we'll have a window of two hours. So if someone drops off, that's no big deal. The person that will um, moves in, let's say they're number 21, they'll get a notification that a slot is opened up and then they're in. We've set it up in our Zen Planner system that you cannot cancel a class in Zen Planner any sooner than two hours. So this is a pretty, a pretty ge uh, generous time frame. Most places are more like eight to 12 hours that you can't cancel your reservation, which sounds pretty crazy, right? If you cancel your reservation before the two hour mark, no big deal, somebody else jumps in and they just work their way into the system. And again, they get a notification automatically that they're in class. Now, if you cancel a reservation within two hours, there'll be a $10 uh, late cancellation fee. And if there's a no-show, let's say if you're registered and then you no-show, there'll be a $20 drop-in fee uh, added, to your, uh, added to your bill. Now, this of course is not gonna happen day one, right? So we're gonna just try and instill this policy with a little heads up and maybe a contact from our coaches. But if it becomes a, a excuse me, a habit, then we'll have to start enforcing that. Hopefully that's one of those things like, uh, you know, my dad spanking me with a belt when I was eight, right? I never did that again. 
I was good. He never had to touch me again. So crack the whip. You guys will be good. Hopefully that's not an issue. Uh, jump ropes. Yes, please bring your jump ropes. We're not sharing anything. Okay. Um, we're going to keep the jump ropes off the floor. Those elite masks for sale. Sure. We can. I'll make sure all the coaches don't need them and then we'll hook it, hook it up. June Jorts, hell yes. It, it is a go. June Jorts is a go. We'll be announcing the workouts next week. Um, what if we are running and we are unable to run? If you're not able to run, you can walk, you can crawl, you can ride a bike, or you can row. So the only people in the short term that can use any of the equipment, so a bike or a rower, are those that cannot run. As soon as we get into our three week phase of reintroducing the CrossFit stuff, we'll have the rowers and bikes available. We'll still be uh, leaning on folks to uh, run when they can, so we're not having to share equipment unless you truly feel comfortable with that person you're sharing equipment with. And that's really go gonna only be the case for the, the rowers and the bikes. Yeah, my dad used the belt on me once, once. Yeah, totally, right? Um, do we need June? Um, Volunteers for June George? Yes, we do. That would be great. Uh, great question. So late cancellation and no-show fee is only until everyone is back to normal. This is a new permanent. This will remain in place. So again, this is a, an industry, sta industry standard. So it's very normal for most of the gyms in our uh, sector, right? So the micro gyms to have this kind of policy in place. And I think ours is still a little conservative or pretty generous. But um, I pretty much copied and pasted uh, from a company that I'm, I'm, I admire. Anyways, what happens if you get sticky fingers and accidentally sign up for the wrong site or at two sites? Same time, do it right. Y'all's parents stop spanking you? Right, exactly. Okay. All right, so I do want to make sure that I'm covering some other things. There are some things that I want to point out, uh, some new policies. One that I'm going to freak some people out is no chalk. No chalk. So what that means is we are not going to provide chalk. So there will be no chalk buckets. This is not a disinfectant or a, a virus type thing. If you guys do a little research, the chalk is a safe place. However, we want to have less worry about inventorying the chalk, keeping the chalk out on the floor. So what we want to do is we want to encourage you to BYOC, bring your own chalk. Um, we purchased these really great, probably the top end version of these chalk little socks or chalk balls that you guys can buy from us for the cost that, that we got them for. Um, or you can, can find them online. Amazon, I think they're seven, eight bucks. I think the ones we got are $10, but they're a little, a little more high end. We want to make sure we got the best. Um, so we encourage you to bring chalk, but we're not going to provide it for you. So that's one little thing. Um, we got rid of our timers. We bought TV, so it'll be a, a little different flow. We've got about 40 hours of music. So we're updating things there. When you guys come in, we've rearranged a few things. We're doing some painting, a little updating, None of that's really all that important, um, but it will make things a little nicer when you guys come back in. Uh, I'm not sure if this came up. Are we only working out outside at first? If so, what if it's raining? So, Kareen, you are going to work outside all the time. Um, we're going to have outside classes for just the first week. If it rains, we'll have inside because we're going to have everything taped off already for our second week. So if we have rain or any kind of really bad weather, we'll come inside. We are allowed to bring our own chalk. Yes. Outside for the first week, inside after that, inside if it rains. Right. Um, also, we're also going to encourage our classes to be outside as much as possible anyways. Not necessarily for the fact that there could be COVID flying around, right? It's nice outside. It's fun to work out outside. I, I prefer to take my bar outside when it's crowded in the gym anyway. So we're going to try We're gonna try and get outside. If it's 100 degrees outside and it's 5 o'clock out at in the evening, we're not going to do that. That's not really a smart thing to do, but we're going to encourage outside workouts. Yeah, Katie Ibarra will figure out how to make a mess. Yes. Okay, okay. First day back is Corey's birthday, so birthday burpees. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to skim down again, make sure I'm not missing anything. All right, cleanliness, guys. So that's going to be our, our obviously our biggest concern. The gyms in the past have been clean, I should say sanitized, but not necessarily the cleanest gym, right? I'll admit to that. So we're going to try and do our, a great job of keeping everything sanitized. We're going to try and help you keep the gym sanitized for us. But we're also going to do a much better job of clean, keeping it clean, right? So two different things, sanitary and clean. We're going to try and knock out both. Okay. 
Yeah, prefer size is great. That's right, getting ready for POC. You know it, man. Okay. Any questions about the programming that we have planned? Any questions about the class schedules? Um, any class questions about the protocol? It's going to be short-lived, guys. We really, we really want to go week one, week two, and then we're into that three-week thing, and then we're not looking back. We're ready to get down to business. Pregnant lady question. Let's hear them. Um, can I drop F-bombs? We, uh, as a coach, we would try not to do that. But in class, sure. Um, little things about the coaches. We're gonna be, we've been working on this a little while. So the coaches are going to keep our shirts on when we're working. We're going to have elite shirts on all the time. We're going to try and take our professionalism up a, up a notch. Oh, great question. Great question. I can't believe I forgot about this. So now that we are working out outside... I just have to know, have you sprayed the back of Selma for mosquitoes or do I need to bring my own stuff? Yes, they just sprayed the other day at both places. I know because they spray at my home the day before. So everything's already been sprayed, ready to rock. It's that time of the season. So I saw a couple flying around, but you know what that means? They're probably going down. Can we go inside to use the restroom? Yes, you can go inside to use the restroom. Your long business stays at home. Your quick business can go inside. All right, so no change in clothes. No, no sitting there for 20 minutes on your phone. All right, June George programming is June George programming. So I'm not sure what the question is, Sid, but um, we're going to release the workouts next week. And again, I'm sorry I'm talking fast. It's just me. I should have had a beer before this. I would have slowed down. Will we have yoga? Yes. Soon. Not, not on 518, but soon. Okay. What do we got going on here? I think I'm doing a mediocre job. Hope you guys accept that for this session. We are recording this. Showers will not be available. Showers are not available. That will be against the law, according to our, our local representatives. Again, that won't be long. So hopefully... In these phases, as, as things change, showers will become available in the short term, but I don't know how long that will be. Um, we put a, a good amount of money into getting those for you guys, so I would love to make sure that they are, they are available. Okay. Thanks, Kareem. I miss you guys, by the way. I can't wait to see you guys. I'm going to have a hard time with the uh, social distancing. I'm going to want to high five and hug you guys soon. Whiskey drinks and barbecue sometime soon. Uh, at June Jorts. So at June Jorts, we're going to really turn it up, guys. We really, really want to make sure that that's a fun time. Um, and I just want to say something else, too. So I probably sound excited about all this, but this all stinks, right? I, I don't want to do it like this. I don't want to do just go classes. They're great workouts. Don't get me wrong. They're really hard, especially if you really get after it, but I want to do more advanced stuff. I want to do pull-ups and handstand push-ups. I want to run around and do all that. And we want to coach that stuff. So we're going to get to that point as soon as we can. I think we're doing a very um, responsible and mature you know, step through this process. And so we're going to do the best we can. We don't like being closed. This has been really tough for all of us. So we're going to do our best to make you guys proud. Hopefully we're acting in a way that can, that can make you guys proud. Um, elite party this year. Uh, not like we have had in the past, but we will have a big over-the-top version at June Jorts afterwards. So hopefully everyone stays, calls Uber if they're, if they're working at that point, right, and gets, gets a safe ride home. So I have 43 people on here. That's awesome. You guys can all uh, message each other. What's with this hug thing? There's a hug icon? What's that all about? That's weird. Okay. Um, on our website, we have some 
I know a lot of you guys don't go to our website very often. You spend most of your time on Zen Planner and SugarWatt. But if you go to the website and maybe skim through that, there's some things on there that I'm already past. Um, we're not we have the ability to check temperatures, but I don't really have a reason to go through all that. I don't want to be all that invasive. Um, it's it's a not touch thing, but I, I still I don't want to be all in your space having to question you on your um, health. I just want you guys to take care of yourselves and, and come on in. Um, so there may be some things in there that you that we didn't cover because I'm gonna hurry up and delete that stuff and just move on because I, I don't even want to go there. What can we as members do to help you as coaches? Come work out, man. Come work out. Come work out. That's all I want. I want to see you guys. I want to see you coming into our space and enjoying yourselves and hopefully we're improving your life in person, not not over the phone. Okay. Um Yeah, you guys, you guys have been helping us. I mean, all the communications that you guys have had with us. I know that coaches are reaching out to all the members more so than I am, right? Because they're that's part of their responsibility. Uh, but I'm getting a lot of um, interaction, and I really appreciate it. I just want to see you guys. There's, I don't, I don't think there's anything that we need. I think we just need to get back to work and be normal. This time at home has been awesome. I've really appreciated it. I've been able to see my daughter start walking, my other kids riding a bike, reading, doing math which is cool, but I like to be at the gym. I'm a busy body, I need to see you guys. So that's it. Uh, sun's out, bun's out, yeah baby. I have asthma, am I do going to get kicked out for coughing during a workout? No, hopefully there'll be a point where we get Fran cough, right? I don't, I don't, I hope no one freaks out about that stuff. Okay, follow the rules, no number two inside, correct. Which would just be nice anyways, you 5 a.m. Five a.m.ers. All right, you almost had him in his feelings. Yeah, not happening. Number two outside, right? You guys kill me. I should read these quietly before I read them aloud. All right, any other questions, guys? I hear uh, the Lion King going on in my living room, so I might jump out, out there. Yeah, you are, sa poor Samson. Um, if you guys have, have any further questions, you know, if something comes up or for some reason you didn't want to have your name, you know, go down on the screen with a question, just, just shoot me a text message. Um, I don't know how to comment on here. Can I comment on here? I can. I'm going to go there. I'm going to put my cell phone number right here. You guys can text me anything. Okay. And um, I'll just tell the other coaches who it was. All right. Oh boy. All right, guys. So 518 we're, 518, we're open. 525, we've got Murph. 61, we start really ramping up the crossfitting, right? Trying to pick things up and get everybody back into shape, right? Get the groove going. 66, we have June Jorts. Okay. And then from there, it's, it's game time. Game time. Yeah, baby's calling. She wants daddy. All right, guys, thank you. Um, I guess I'm gonna stand here one more minute in case some more more questions pop up, but then I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna make a video, and I should have already done it, but man, I got so many things going on. I'm trying to help some other affiliates here in the San Antonio area get get things going. So I've been trying to mentor some of those guys as well. Um, but I'm gonna make a video, hopefully in a clean gym. Uh, that will go through the steps so you can kind of see it for those of you guys that are a little more um, visual learners. So I'm going to go through a video of how class will start the first week and then kind of an alternative to what things will look like in week two. So hopefully that'll be helpful. We'll try and keep it under 60 seconds um, so you don't, you don't have to look at me for more than that. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, unless there's any other questions, you have 30 seconds and then I'm out of here. I will uh, make this as an announcement so other folks can see it. Um, unfortunately, I was unable to record it like I thought I could. So I'll do my best to get that information to folks who are not uh, not on Facebook. But if you have any questions from other members, um, hopefully you guys can help them out or you can refer, uh, refer them to the website on that reopening. 
um, portion of our website. Yeah, thank you guys. Rock on. Dude, I want to see some shaved heads. Corona shaves. I can't wait to see Katie clean and jerk. All right, the coaches are ready. I know we're dying to be around each other. We're an awful fun bunch. Um, we'll see you guys soon. Thanks, for, thank you, Miss Martha. I want to see that shaved head, Patrick? Sid, Sid has a fro. We gotta, we gotta shave that down, man. All right, guys. I'm gonna go and sign off now. I hope you guys have a great night. I will see you guys soon. You're going to see me at both gyms quite a bit the, the next couple of weeks. Um, tell me to wash my hands. All right. Have a good night, guys. Bye.